listen up, because I'm about to show you an operating system so ridiculously, absurdly secure that Edward Snowden himself uses it. And when a guy who literally exposed the NSA picks a tool, you pay attention. If you're still running Windows or even a regular Linux distro for anything remotely security related, you're basically playing Russian roulette with your data every single day pulling the trigger with every sketchy download, every shady attachment, every harmless email from someone named admin at totallylegit.biz. Cubes OS is the operating system nobody talks about, not because it's obscure, but because it's actually difficult to use. And let's be honest, most people would rather stay cozy inside their digital dumpster fires surrounded by their insecure garbage than put in the effort to learn something that actually protects them. Here's the problem. With every OS you've ever used, yes, even your precious Kali Linux, they all operate under a dangerous illusion. The idea that if one app gets compromised, the damage is contained. Spoiler alert, that's a complete lie. When you open a sketchy PDF or click a malicious link, that malware doesn't politely stay in its sandbox. It reaches straight into your system, grabbing your files, your SSH keys, your saved browser sessions, your crypto wallets, everything, because under the hood, it's all one big shared environment. This is called the monolith problem, and it's why a single mistake can burn your entire digital life to the ground. Cubes OS fixes this with something called security by compartmentalization. Instead of running everything together like one chaotic party, Cubes OS uses the Zen hypervisor to create fully isolated virtual machines called cubes. You might have one cube for work, another for banking, one for browsing memes, and a fourth for your highly suspicious research. The beauty, if one cube gets wrecked by malware, it's trapped, completely contained, and can't touch anything else. It's like having a dozen separate computers, all color-coded and neatly managed from one desktop. Now picture this. You're doing some penetration testing, and you need to inspect a suspicious executable. On a normal OS, you'd start sweating or maybe spin up a VM manually, which takes forever. On Cubes OS, you just open a disposable cube, a temporary self-destructing virtual machine that exists for that one task. Analyze the file, close the window, and boom, everything, including any malware, vanishes. The malware never even saw your real file system. The whole thing takes maybe five seconds. Yes, it's resource intensive. You'll want at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, ideally 32, and a processor that supports virtualization. But if you're serious about security, if you're doing penetration testing, bug bounty hunting, or handling sensitive client data, that's a small price to pay. The genius of Cubes OS isn't just isolation, it's integration. You're not juggling windows between different VMs. Everything lives on a unified desktop with color-coded borders. Red for untrusted, yellow for semi-trusted, green for your crown jewels. Your workflow stays smooth, your paranoia stays healthy, and your attack surface stays minimal. Journalists in hostile environments rely on this system because even if their laptop is seized, not all their data is exposed. Malware analysts use it daily to detonate samples without infecting their workspace. Bug bounty hunters run multiple targets in isolation, so one compromised test environment doesn't nuke their main rig. Compare that to Tails or Wonix. Tails is fantastic for anonymity, but not for day-to-day -day compartmentalization. Wonix is great for Tor routing, but limited to two VMs. Cubes OS lets you run both inside it. You can literally combine Wonix's anonymity with Cubes' isolation and build a fortress. Here's what most people miss. Cubes OS isn't just about defense. When you're running multiple bug bounty programs simultaneously, sure, setup is heavier. You'll have to understand templates, networking cubes, and security domains. This isn't for the click install and chill crowd. It's for people who actually care about their operational security, the kind who want to control every byte that enters or leaves their system. Once you learn it though, it's addictive. You'll start thinking about security in layers instead of luck. You stop treating hacking like chaos and start treating it like architecture. If you're just dabbling, stick with regular Linux. But if you're serious, if you're analyzing malware, testing clients' infrastructure, or running multiple engagements, Cubes OS is non-negotiable. Now, if you've watched this far, you are not the click install and chill crowd. You're the kind of person who deserves to make a real living doing what you love without spending thousands on some guru's garbage course to get there. 
I've been there. I paid the price, and I'm honestly done with the gatekeeping. That's why I created Cyberflow Academy. Think of it as the family you wish you had when you started. Inside, you don't just get my Cubes OS workflow, my personal reporting templates, and the specific lessons I wish I had. You get instant access to a Discord community filled with people who are getting ridiculous payouts right now, and they're actively helping each other every single day. We share exploits, we review reports, and we treat every single person like they're the next success story. Your questions don't get ignored here. We have zero interest in charging you thousands of dollars for a PDF. Our goal is to get you earning and living from cybersecurity. That's why we give you everything, all the tools, all the lessons, all the personal mentorship for a fair price of just $29 a month. This is for people who love this field and are ready to be appreciated. And because I know you're serious, I'm cutting that price in half for your first month. Join the family today with code CYBER50 for 50% off. We can only take a few more dedicated people right now to keep the mentorship quality high. Hit the first link in the description. Come join the people who want to see you win. We're waiting for you.